Hello and welcome to Veda Day 20. Today's video is about spring cleaning. Now I have been doing a lot of this um, just in bits and pieces this month and last month and I'm finally about to tackle the final frontier. Well, I don't know about the final frontier, but something that really needs some work. This is my office closet. It is kind of a fabric explosion. Um, it does have quite a bit of organization. It just, I see to clean out some things and reorganize some things a little bit. The challenge is that Brayden's room is right there and he is napping and so I need to keep it quiet. So there may be some things that I have to leave for another day because they may create too much noise against that wall. Um, but I just wanted to walk you through it and show you what's in here and how I would like to clean. We'll see how far I get on this and how long Brayden decides to nap. Okay, let's start over here. Um, I have a file box right there and then these are framed posters from college and this is one I used to collect on um, vintage playbills. Um, here's a bag from my video camera. Right here is just the top of my sewing machine, like the cover thing. And in this three drawer thing, this is all my craft stuff. This has been through lots of cycles of craft organization and I just change the labels <laughs> as I need to. These three things right here are labeled, oops, that one in the middle, the labels on the other side. These are all my patterns for the different things that I sew. That looks like... I'm not sure what's in there, just by, oh, that looks like some scrapbooking stuff. Hmm. Um, and this is completed projects, and yeah, this is not a good way of storing it. At one point, this was all I needed for my completed projects. <laughs> not so much anymore. <laughs> right here, this black, huge black bag is all, really, all of my completed projects. When I take uh, things that I've sewn to sell at booths, like when I have a booth like at a craft fair, this is what I take. And um, it's a great bag, but has, as you can see, stuff on top of it. Um, I save stuff thinking and I'll craft with it one day, and sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. There's, um, I made like bath bombs with these and with that. Um, it's just boxes that I like to collect for shipping things or whatever. Back here, um, these are boxes full of, um, there's some scrapbooking stuff actually in those two plastic boxes right there. Um, some marker boards back there. These boxes have like picture frames and stuff. This is really, this is actually pared down quite a bit. That box, that cardboard box has picture frames I don't use anymore, but I don't want to throw away because they have special pictures in them. So yeah. Um, and back there I have the boxes that I must keep because they are from my office um, supplies that the company um, gave me. Um, oh man, it's hard to show you here, but this is the clothing rack here. I just have stuff stacked. It's so bad. Um, a bag here. That's actually my friend's. I need to give it back to her. <laughs> There's another bag. And these three organizers right here, these are like those closet sweater organizers, I guess. They were from Target and the dollar section, I believe. I think they were three or five dollars each, six dollars, I don't remember. And they are somewhat organized. I do have different kinds of fabrics in different um, sections. Um, so it is somewhat organized, but I just need to go through and maybe put smaller scraps into another container. We'll see. Um, actually, it's it looks a lot worse than than it really is, uh, you know, because I have all the fleece together, all the jersey knit and all that together. Up here, um, these are just some um, envelopes. Up here, I believe these are our wedding invitation, not invitations, yes, invitations and programs. There's a sconce up there, there's my bender ball. This little basket right here, I have some, um, like activity pads and stuff that I keep um, just for a rainy day for Caleb, uh, like treats if he's been really good. Uh, some paper towels, uh, some pencil boxes back there, my iron. This box right here, you can see it has command products like command hooks, glues, adhesives, and markers. 
This top basket I got at Five Below for I think $3 and it has paint in it. Uh, like finger paint and there's some stain in there and some temper paint and then this one right here are all of these samples that I get to paint on my canvas like if I need a lot of it but not too much like those are from Lowe's the little samples then I have paint chips like the little paint sample cards that you get at Lowe's so I like to do projects with those there's my hook and loop for making diapers my arm is getting tired <laughs> There's some essential oil crafting supplies, like the bottles and pipettes and stuff. Um, these are acrylic paints and supplies, uh, scrapbook tools and pens. <clears throat> these are diaper repair supplies, like snap things, pliers, tape, scissors, all of that. Um, and the little plastic, sorry, this little plastic thing right here. These are all the snaps for my diapers and then sewing machine parts that um, I need some place to put. <laughs> Here's some Mod Podge here uh, and then a, a picture frame, is that wrought iron looking thing. Then this thing right here is the box of instructions and everything that came with my sewing machine. I think that's some Wonder Under up there and then that is all quilt batting and then there's some taper candles, super random. So. It's something that you can see there is quite a bit of organization. I just need to clean some things out. And uh, down here, um, that's just kind of stuff I brought up recently. I don't know if I can do anything with that box because that box of shoes needs to go in Brayden's closet and he is sleeping, so I may have to take care of that later. But all right, let's see what I can do. Wish me luck. spring cleaning because of normal interruptions uh, but I wanted to show you what I have come up with um, in case you're wondering about this closet um, yeah a really long time ago someone came to fix it and broke it and never came back and I don't know why it just hasn't been fixed they messed up the track right there if you could see right there it's like bowed out and we just haven't gotten around to getting it fixed so um, I want to show you what I did here okay I had three of these things hanging up with fabric and oh, I feel so good to go through these things uh, we'll start whoa as long as I'm not tripping on things we will start over here over here I still have my my posters I don't really know where else to put them uh, I have a grocery bag and some of those little those little molds I showed you um, I still have this and this is going to take a while to organize and I'm just, it's not necessary right now. So, um, but I mean, it's, it's all craft stuff. Uh, this is a Nemesis Basin and here I have the fitness stuff. I have the pump for my stability ball and or my bender ball and the gliding disc and I have some resistance bands in there as well. Um, I grabbed this. We used this as the like changing station storage area with the boys when they're really little. It's been sitting in our bedroom not being used for a really long time and I have been thinking about what to do with it and here it is. This is by the brand Munchkin and you can still get this at Target um, but it's got these little shelves I guess but it's all fabric. Up here um, this whole top shelf is all diapers and diaper sewing and diaper repair supplies. Here's those snaps I told you about. And here I have my diaper sewing supplies I showed you on the shelf earlier. And it has the pliers, the seam ripper, the hole punch, all of that to um, repair and make diapers. These are some diapers I need to repair here. And these are um, patterns that I've cut out to make diapers. Also I have all my P.U.L. Um, I even have a package of an open P.U.L. that is so cute. Let me show it to you. Um, these designs were just adorable. So one day I'll get around <laughs> to making some more diapers. Actually, I need to really soon. 
This right here, this is all my knits, and I don't sew with knits very much, but I got these, uh, this fabric to make my nieces some pants at Christmas. They turned out super cute. This is some minky fabric, and this is actually a minky changing mac, or changing head cover. It was just all stretched out. And um, this right here, I don't really know, I guess I could call it knit. This I've made a scarf with before. This is the fabric that I bought at Mood in LA, uh, which was kind of a cool thing. If you're a Project Runway fan, it was so amazing to go into Mood. This right here, I thought I had more to be honest, um, but this is on my flannel. And I make mostly baby stuff with flannel. Right here, these are all my utility fabrics. This is, a, I have some canvas, I have a bunch of Osnaberg from making my ring slings and stuff. Oh, that got stuck in there, that does not go there. <laughs> um, this is some quilt batting. Um, yes, and muslin is in here too, so not decorative stuff, more utility fabrics. And down here, this is all my quilter's cotton, and this is a lot. I could probably use this whole thing for my quilter's cotton, but I've got all my Aggie fabric here and just a bunch of random things. Now, these are where I have like some decent yardage, like at least half a yard and mostly together. All of my scraps, which I had a lot of them, I put in here, and I'm so glad I did that because most of those hanging things were just small scraps, and I love, I love this. I just... <laughs> put all of my fabric scraps in there and um, yeah, really pleased with that. So if I need like little amounts of things, I can just go straight to here. This I kept with my patterns and this I looked in there and it's all um, big scrapbook stuff like, um, like the big paper, the paper cutter, you know, with the big slider on it. Um, yeah, I just don't have a label for it. <clears throat> Right here, I have my Paper Chef bag with all of my completed projects in it. I took all of those boxes with my, uh, like my printer box, my mouse box, all that stuff from work, and put it in the basement. This right here is still my box of picture frames and stuff. This is scrapbook material right here. Uh, again, there's my sewing machine cover and my camera bag. Things I don't access very often. Whoa. Put my tote bags back there. And most everything up here is pretty much the same. Uh, let's see, those back there, those are lids for dollar store containers I'd have around the home, the house that I don't need the lids to. This is a box with um, cards. I put my birthday cards and Christmas cards and stuff that I want to keep. Not every card I get, but the ones I want to keep. There's my irons, paper towels. I put my sewing machine parts back there. There's a camera. Uh, pencil box and an empty thing and this like I said it stayed pretty much all the same I mean it was already organized pretty well and labeled and everything this right here is a dollar store Ooh, don't want to drop it actually both these are dollar store containers and I recently started helping out homeschool co-ops with animal organ dissections um, so I've got my like scalpel and forceps and stuff in here, gloves and markers when I do a lesson on the whiteboard. Um, but I've been doing heart dissections and eye dissections and sorry, this is gross. This is a cow eye and this is a sheep heart right here. Um, but I've been working with some homeschoolers and it's been really fun and it's a little extra income. I've only done it like three or four times, but, um, it's been really fun. And I decided to keep one of these sweater hanger things because this is all fleece, except for these are some um, tablecloths that I made into baby carriers, and these are the scraps from that, but it's still some decent yardage. Um, but yeah, all of this is fleece, polar fleece, um, uh, micro fleece, and some bamboo fleece. So all different types of fleece in here, and this is mostly for diaper making and blanket making. I hope this has inspired you to maybe do a little spring cleaning if you're not already inspired. I gotta say I've got a bit of a headache from today and yesterday doing some spring cleaning in Brayden's closet and hopefully I'll get to Caleb's closet pretty soon. 
But uh, yeah, this is a lot of work. I, I think allergies like from dust and stuff are getting to me, so I need to be diffusing some lemon, lavender, lemon, and peppermint to see how that works. I remember it working for me last, um, last spring when I was doing this, but for some reason I didn't even think to do it when I started working in these rooms. So anyway, I hope you're having a great day and enjoying spring. I will see you tomorrow. Be sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you would like to continue to see my Veda videos. Hope you're having a great day and take care. Bye.